Autopsy results are expected in the next few days for Samantha Parker. The Springfield woman's murder last week led to a massive manhunt for her husband. News Channel 5's Chris Conti is in the newsroom. Chris, the community still trying to understand all of this. And Rory, likely a lot of the answers that they're looking for will never be found, and that's because the only one who knows the how and to why all of this happened was Samantha's husband, Joseph, who shot and killed himself on Friday night. The crime scene tape is gone. The police cars are too. We're all just in shock. But the images of the way this Springfield neighborhood looked three days ago. It's just sad. Cannot be shaken from the mind of Brandy Gaines. Um, I catch myself every time I come outside, I do look over there. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I just, I look. And it just, it makes you just stay. The image of just knowing that she was in there, you know, and the way that it happened, it just, it, it just makes you sad. Brandy and her two and a half year old son, Bentley. Oh my goodness. Live two doors down from the house where police say Joseph Parker killed his wife last Wednesday. In a 911 call, Parker revealed how he did it. I shot my wife. I thought I killed her. And um, I put her in the freezer in the garage. Well, I checked on her at night and she's not dead. I don't know. I mean, I guess at that point no one could help her, but it's just the fact that she had to be there for two days before someone got to her. It's just, it's scary. A two states wide manhunt eventually led to this scene on I-65 Friday night after the 45 year old took his own life inside his car on the side of the highway. When it first happened and knowing that he was out there, uh, just, you know, I didn't necessarily think that he would come after us or anything, but it just makes you wonder. And while Brandy's neighborhood no longer looks like a crime scene, in her mind, she'll always see it that way. So you just really think about who's around you now. There's an autopsy happening right now on Samantha's body. Springfield police say preliminary results as to how she died will be released within the week. In the newsroom this evening, Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.